Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food bank haul for you. Um, this one kind of makes me giggle. Um, I was running late today, so I didn't get there until probably a half an hour or so before it closed. And because I was the last one in, and they knew I was probably going to be the last one in, they just kind of loaded me up with a bunch of things that were going to go bad before the next food bank. So... Um, and then things that they had an overabundance of and things that I think I have an outlet for. So let me show you what I got and I'll kind of explain as I go. Um, over here there are five of these organic romaine hearts. Um, and a lot of them, there that's one, are going bad. And so they weren't going to last the couple of days until the next food bank. And so she's like, take them all because she knows that, one, I eat a lot of salad. So I'll plow through quite a bit of this. Um, but then also we have chickens and a compost pile. So it's one of those where if they didn't get rid of it today, it was going to get thrown in the trash. Um, so rather than it getting thrown in the trash, I can bring it home and feed it to chickens or compost pile and it gets a new life, which is awesome. Um, we also got one little tomato, a bag of onions. This is another thing. They gave me three heads of cauliflower, and as you can see, it's going bad. So, um, this wasn't going to make it until the next food bank, so it was going to get trashed. So, um, I will throw this in the refrigerator, and it'll last for me. Um, but more than likely what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and cut it all up, blanch it, and throw it in the freezer, and then it will keep indefinitely. So it doesn't get wasted. There's a bag here with um, pears and limes in it. This is another one of those where the limes were starting to go. So she just said, take them all. And I like to juice limes and put them in my water juice. So, or in my water. So that's nice. And then I think there's seven pears. And they're still in decent shape. They're not soft. There is one gallon of 2% milk. This was on the table as a take as much as you want. And so she said, you guys eat yogurt, right? And I said, yeah. And so she just gave me the whole case of it. Um, so my kids will devour those for breakfast or whatever for the next few days. There's a bag. They do this kind of, they pre-bag stuff. And so it just kind of has a bunch of different um, snack things in it. There's some chips there's like granola bars that kind of thing so they just all they throw it in a bag and you just get the bag and then it just gets put in your stuff there are four of these um small tortilla shells and then two of these they are giant wraps um like so heavy um and they've been frozen so that's their way past date, but I can tell they've been in the freezer. So that's probably what both of these will go back to. And then I'll just pull out as we need them. Um, you get uh, to pick usually a couple of household items. So I picked this because I have um, five kids. So toothbrushes are always nice. So I think it was 12 toothbrushes, which will get used. I picked up that for me. Uh, yum. There's two bags of these Z-Bars, which my kids really like, and there's six each bag. Meat-wise, we got two things of split chicken breasts, and then a New York strip steak thick cut, which my husband is probably going to absolutely drool over, and then two things of thick cut, or two thick cut pork chops. There are four cans of the diced chicken in water and I we use these a lot for chicken salad for lunch nice and quick and easy one roll of toilet paper there's four of the lemon sparkling water which I picked these up because I can drink sparkling water I can't have sugar um I have to eat low carb for health reasons so um these are something that I enjoy so I was excited to find those because that's not something that we normally see there there's a bottle of home style ranch dressing, two of these naked um, juices. My kids will probably drink those or my husband. They had their diaper pantry, so I got a pack of diapers for my littlest one. These four things were in a bag all together, kind of like the snack chip things, um, where they just throw kind of miscellaneous um, drinks into a bag and you get what you get. So there's two cans of soda, a thing of muscle milk, and a thing of Propel. Uh, we got a can of pineapple chunks, 
two cans of sweet corn and two cans of peas. Uh, two things of mustard. And then bread-wise, there's some multi-seed bagels, this good seed um, bread that my kids really like, and then English muffins that my kids really like. I A lot of times I'll make pizzas, little mini pizzas for those for lunch. Okay, so then this pile of stuff falls into that. They had a bunch of stuff left and they were getting ready to close. So um, they had this whole bag of sparkling water um, and she's like, just take them all. And I was like, are you sure? Because they had a limit of four. And she's like, yeah, go ahead and take them because you'll drink them. And then they had this whole box of water and they get a lot of water where the case has been busted open, like from Walmart, that kind of thing. And rather than the store just chucking them because they can't sell them individually, they donate them to the food bank. So she, he, um, he goes, here, do you want some water? And I said, yeah, I'll take some. And then he proceeded to carry the whole box over to my car. And I was like, okay, so we'll definitely use it. Um, and then this is also the same way. They had all of these little um, baby squeezy pouches. And I had picked up one box and she's like, just take them all. And then they had these boxes of boxes of boxes of these little rice husk thingies for babies. Um, and I had picked up just one individual box and she said, why don't you take one of the whole boxes? And I said, okay. And so then I got that loaded up and she goes, do you think you could use all of them? And I was like, uh, I don't know because each individual box has 24 husks and each one of these boxes has six boxes in it. Um, so in total, there's almost 600 of these little packages of husk things um so like inside the box is i'll show you it, one of these that has two little husks in each one um so i said well there's a lot of babies at my church so i said let me take them i can set them out at church and they can either use them in the nursery or they can um give them to, uh, the moms can take them home with them. So we have a fairly large baby population at our church. And then our church also works with a women's shelter slash like pregnancy care center. So maybe they can donate them to them. But for sure, we'll find some use for them. I don't think my baby will eat them all, but um, we'll see. So yeah, it was one of those where I guess it was clandestine for me to show up late because and end up with a bunch of extra stuff so it will all get used it will all get eaten like I said I've got five kids and we homeschool so we're home all day so it's definitely getting used but um I just thought it was kind of funny and made me giggle that they just kept loading stuff into my car and I'm like ah oh, okay just, yeah oh sure okay so super blessed today um excited to always have all of this yummy food so Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. God bless and goodbye.